Yeah, I remember what it felt like. It's just a small town kind of life. Good morning. I haven't seen you guys in months. <laughs> also, making a comeback with a iPhone vlog life. <laughs> it's currently Monday. I think it's the 15th today. My parents' wedding anniversary. <laughs> I've got a week off work, which I'm really excited about. I have three days off for New Year, but you know, like, Sometimes you need like a week to recuperate and reorganize your life. So don't even look at the messy kitchen. I live with three boys, so guys. Also, I haven't shown you yet. This is our new baby boy <laughs> with his little wonky eye. And um, he's really annoyed because I'm supposed to be feeding him right now. I'll be right back. I'll never let you go. What's going on with me? My work's going good. I mean, it's nice to have a job that I actually enjoy now instead of dreading going to work every single day because that is not good. If that is a thing in your life, look for a new job, honestly. I'm still living here in Northamptonshire with Harry, his dad, and we have a lodger at the moment. He's cool. I mean, ideally, we do want to move out this year, but I mean, financially to sort of speaking, not sure if that's like an actual thing that could happen. But we'll see, we're working hard and saving hard, so you gotta work for your shit. Anyway, so this morning, it's like half eight, I think. Um, we're in Harry's Adidas hoodie. I bought him this for Christmas, but like, I feel like I wear it more than he does. I am about to pop out because I really fancy a green smoothie and I have been so unhealthy lately, like over the Christmas period. Um, I've been, I mean, what is my hair? I've been having like healthy meals and stuff, but I have been snacking on my Christmas chocolate. We went for a drive through last night and I had nine chicken nuggets after I'd eaten so much food yesterday. So I don't know, I just felt like I used to be so much healthier and so much happier within myself. So I just want to get back on the healthy train. I'm gonna put this in the bin because that's gross. If you actually still watch my videos after all this time and after I've been gone for so long, you the OG. I look so rough. Let's go. The weather is horrendous. I wanna be your end game. Basically, for my next cover, I either want to do Endgame by Taylor or I want to do Dua Lipa's new, new song. I feel like I might do them both, but I don't know which one to do first, so let me know. It'd just be hilarious me trying to rap um, the Future's part, because I feel like Ed's bit is a bit easier, but like, your girl ain't a rapper. I hate this street man. Oh, I can just turn around. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, it is smoothie time. I have one of these blend active blenders. It's like the Nutra Bullet, but like a cheap version. First thing I'm gonna add is a massive handful of spinach. Cool. Then I'm gonna pop in some uh, pineapple and mango. I just found a bag that has them both in one. I'm just gonna pop some of those in. In you go, my love. I don't measure it, it just looks like that at the moment. And I'm gonna blend that just to break it down a little bit. About that much water, like halfway. I probably won't need to add any more than that. Okay, once the majority of that is blended. Ow. Oh, it smells really nice. Banana. I don't actually like eating bananas on their own, so putting them in smoothies and like when I make banana pancakes, it's um really good. In you get some spirulina powder. If you're constipated, put this in a smoothie. Not that I'm constipated or anything, it's just really good for you, but it goes straight through you. <laughs> it's green. And it's so good for you. 65% protein, calcium, iron. I need those things. <laughs> Flaxseed, obviously. And you gotta get them cheers in. And then we blend. Chilling in bed with my smoothie. My friend from work has got me into um, RuPaul's Drag Race. And I feel like it's been such a big thing for years, but I've never actually watched it. 
Um, but I did love America's Next Top Model back in the day. And um, I'm on season, f well, I started on season four, I'm not gonna lie, because she was like, you need to start on season four because apparently it's better or whatever. So I'm on season four, episode eight, and it is ridiculous. <laughs> But you know, it's like one of those things you can't stop watching. Like drag queens are so talented. Imagine being able to do, like transform yourself like that. I'm just drinking my smoothie. I'm just gonna sit here and like drink it all. And then I'm gonna actually get ready for the day. As I was making my lunch, I was eating some gherkins. I really like them. Um, I'm just making some quinoa. This quinoa is actually red quinoa, um, bulgur wheat and just normal quinoa all in one so it's really really good for you. I just make mine with veg stock um, and then obviously put the lid on it until it's ready and then I'm just frying up some veg in a pan with coconut oil. Um, just you um, having some kale, cherry tomatoes and some peppers as well and just using a bit of garlic pepper and soy sauce. I freaking love soy sauce. I use it on like everything. It's not the best for you but it's delicious and yeah basically that's it and I just had that with a massive pint of water as I do most of my meals. I've been on an adventure. Well actually I've been to Tesco's. Um, and Holland and Barrett. I'm actually at Rushton Lakes at the moment because um, I went in uh, Holland and Barrett because I needed some um, nutritional yeast. I went to Tesco's first because I for some reason came across um, Naomi Smart's vegan mac and cheese recipe and it looked so good so I need to try it tonight so I've been out buying all the ingredients um i just want to clarify as well i i'm not vegan especially because i did eat a chocolate coin earlier i forgot to include that but i have like leftover chocolate coins from christmas um so i'm still trying to kind of eat my christmas chocolate and not let it go to waste um but once i've eaten all that then you know it can get away i say that but we all know i'm gonna crack because i love chocolate so yeah i'm not vegan i just eat a lot of vegan meals and i eat very plant-based because i'm just not a big fan of meat i mean i love a good burger i love like chicken breast or like a bit of turkey but i'm not if you put like a big be like bit of meat on like say my roast dinner or something i'm not gonna eat it um so i just choose not to to eat much meat because I feel like it's not doing me any good and it's better for the planet plus I love eggs so I don't know if I could be completely vegan I've done it before I did it for a while actually but I just love eggs so I love eggs and I love chocolate what are you gonna do so I'm actually starving it's like four o'clock now I think and before I go home I'm like rearrange myself have a cup of coffee and then cook my dinner i just bought some um hummus and pita breads from m and and i'm gonna have a little snack i love white bread <laughs> but i do I don't eat it very often i can't open it oh, oh shit well i can't put a peg on that can i <sighs> why does white bread smell so damn good i realize as well i in my M&S anyway, this one, um, it's quite small and they didn't have like the red pepper one. But do M&S do a red pepper hummus? Um, I don't know. I wanted a red pepper one, but I just went for original because <laughs> it was the only option. Oh man, I love hummus. <laughs> it just looks like a moose. Wait. Doesn't it look like a moose? The texture. I'm going to eat this now. So I've just cooked my tea, the vegan macaroni and cheese, and it looks really good, but I'm excited to taste it, so. Okay, I'm on the floor, but it's fine. Taste this. Wow. This is so good. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I'll put the recipe down below. This is insane. And I'm gonna watch TV.